Our month-long focus on breast cancer awareness continues today with a visit to Adventist Health Castle. That's right. Now, I had a chance to speak to a doctor there about the disease and get a lot of questions answered. Take a look. We are here at Adventist Health Castle in Kailua. We are chatting with Dr. Jacqueline Lee about breast cancer. Now, doctor, you know, we hear a lot about breast cancer, but do we know what causes breast cancer? Um, we don't really know for sure. Um, we know that it's damage to the DNA cells, which makes um, the cells in the breast grow out of control. But there are also um, several other factors that are both environmental and genetic. Uh, we do know that um, excessive drinking um, causes a higher risk of breast cancer, as well as obesity, especially after menopause. Okay, what are some of the symptoms of breast cancer? Um, breast cancer can manifest as a new lump in the breast, um, nipple discharge, breast pain, um, skin changes. Uh, some people notice a skin dimpling or even nipple retraction or nipple inversion. Okay, I've heard a lot of doctors say how important it is for people to uh, give themselves a self exam, you know, maybe during a shower. Yeah, yeah, that's very important. We, we highly recommend that. So, self breast exams. Um, are very useful and a large percentage of our breast cancer patients um, have detected their cancer through self breast exams. Um, once you, know, you do notice an abnormality in your breast, um, whether it be lump or new nipple discharge, um, the next thing to do is to seek medical attention for it. And usually after a complete history and physical exam by your doctor, um, they order an imaging study, which can either be an ultrasound, a mammogram, or even an MRI. But the definitive diagnosis of breast cancer um, is made by a breast biopsy, which is um, a collection of a sample of breast cells that they analyze under the microscope to look for the cancer. Okay, at what age should someone uh, get their first mammogram? I am. So the, the guidelines from the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecology are right now to start screening at age 40. Um, and usually uh, mammograms every one to two years after that. Now, of course, if you have a very strong family history of breast cancer, we may recommend screening earlier. You know, I hear so often, oh, I had an appointment, but I canceled it because I had to pick up the kids or something came up. Yeah. I mean, this is something people really have to take seriously and, and yeah. do. Yeah, absolutely agreed. It's very easy to put these things on the back burner, especially when you're not having any symptoms and feeling okay. but. Um, screening is, is how we screening is how we lead to early detection, and that has really improved survival rates of breast cancer over the past 20 years. Actually, that was going to be my next question. What are the survival rates for breast cancer? Um, so, if the cancer is caught early and it's localized in the breast, um, the five-year survival rates are about 99% right now. Um, which is obviously very excellent. Um, if the cancer has already spread to the regional lymph nodes, the survival rates are a little bit lower, about 85%. And currently, um, about 60% of our breast cancer cases are detected um, in the early stage um, with the, the higher survival rate. Okay, I've also heard that men can get breast cancer. Yeah, that's true. In the U.S. every year, about 2,500 men are um, diagnosed with breast cancer. And they have the same signs and symptoms as women do. So they can also have a breast lump um, or even nipple discharge or breast pain. Okay, Dr. Lee, thank you so much. This is such an important topic and of course October is Breast Cancer Awareness yes, Month, so we hope that uh, people who are watching this segment will get inspired to get checked yeah, and uh, see their doctor if they notice any kind of abnormalities uh, yeah. in their breasts. But thank you. Thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. So, so important. I hear it all the time where people, you know, cancel their appointments, they're busy, they yep. put it off. This is something that Don't you really should not put off. I cannot wait for October to eventually be, speaking of the future just a little while ago, to be, instead of uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, Breast Cancer Victory Month. I cannot yeah. wait for the moment that somebody says, we have a cure, we know how to prevent it. We've won against that absolutely. fight. Absolutely, I would love that for all cancers. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, you you're know? right. But uh, until then, early detection is key. Mm. So we really hope that everyone, you know, do the self-exam. It's so easy to do when you're in the shower, and this is for men as well. Um, yeah. And go get checked. And we really thank the folks at Adventist Health Castle because they do such a good job with everyone. They do, absolutely.